you get me. What's good music producers, welcome back to another video. My name is Larry O, thank you for joining me. Today's video is gonna be really cool, really quick. A lot of you may know, a lot of you may not know that I mix everything in FL Studio. This includes vocals, stems, and I get a lot of mixing orders and a lot of producers and engineers ask me how and why I load my stems and get my sessions going for a mix in FL Studio. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I start a session and how I start a mix from basically taking the stems out of a full Folder, dragging them into FL Studio, setting up my session. I'll save the mixing for another video. This is just a mixing setup. Before I hop into that, here's a quick video from my sponsor, DistroKid. Real quick, I want to talk about HyperFollow by DistroKid. HyperFollow is a completely free and awesomely powerful promotional tool for anyone using DistroKid. It's the one-stop shop for all the links to streaming services and stores for your DistroKid release. Today, it's really a must-have one link that leads to your music and all streaming services. The instant you finish uploading it, at DistroKid, you can start marketing your release and collecting pre-saves on Spotify, including fan email addresses with HyperFollow. You can also customize your HyperFollow page to include your social media pages. As soon as your release goes live on its release date, your HyperFollow page will automatically update to include your links to all the streaming services and the stores. You're able to edit your HyperFollow page to include links to Bandcamp, videos, etc. Your HyperFollow link never changes, and you'll never have to update your marketing copy or social media posts. You can find your hyperfollow link on your DistroKid album page. This is a simple tool that all artists should be using. Now let's get back to the video. So I'm starting out with a blank session here and on my desktop I have this folder of stems that a client sent to me a little while ago. You can see there's a beat here. There's no beat stems. It's just a two track beat and vocal stems. So it's going to keep it real simple here. Click drag, highlight all of them. Click and drag into the blank playlist in FL Studio. You know, depending on where you drag them you're going to have some dead space over to the left. So click hold control click and drag to highlight everything and drag them all the way to the left then the next thing that I do is I hold control and I zoom in all the way as close as possible so right here you can see that there's a little bit of dead space and this is gonna affect it later on so we're gonna want to get rid of that control a to highlight everything make sure everything is highlighted when you're doing this hold the alt key click and drag to trim that dead space out make sure you have that stretch button turned off when you're doing this then you can hold the alt key click and drag to the left and then you're all good to go the next thing in the list is we're going to normalize it throw generic bleeding on i always bring it down about 50 percent and i'll copy that value i'll show you why in a second then I'll send it to the mixer into the nearest empty track, which is track two. Then I right click on the beat and hit detect tempo. Now you can choose your range here. It really doesn't matter. Uh, I like to choose between 50 and 100. Click on that. It's finding the tempo. 65. So we can hit yes. And then let's double check that. Solo the beat out. Turn the metronome on and hit play. And just to double check, click a little bit further on in the beat and make sure that everything is on point. Perfect. Now the next thing I do is highlight everything here. And it looks to me like these are all in a good order already. We got three layers here. It looks like we have a main vocal and then a left and a right. So to organize a little bit, let's scroll that up. And the way I did that is just literally hold the shift key and scroll your mouse wheel up. And then we got left and right, that's good. Over here again, vocal two, then we got left and right. Then we got vocal three and left and right again. You know, this is a little bit time consuming, but it saves a lot of time in the long run. Let's go back, track number one, vocal number one, send to the mixer, paste that value in again, normalize generic bleeding. And if you don't know what generic bleeding does, I'll show you real quick. Let's trim that up a little bit. You can see this little crossfade on the end. That's what generic bleeding does. It adds a crossfade anytime you make a slice. So if we make a slice there, we make a slice there, there, it's gonna add a nice little crossfade so we don't get any clicks and pops. So then I like to go through every single track and do the same exact thing. So we have everything in the mixer. If you want to double check, go to the channel rack, click all. And now we can see everything is assigned into the mixer. We can bring this mixer over here and you can see the beat is there. Now next, the next thing I do before I listen to anything is I bring in my vocal chain preset. Click on an empty track, insert number 14, go to file. Then I go down to my vocal chain. Once that loads, I like to right click it and dock it to the left. If you wanna grab this template or my vocal chain presets, I have a link down in the description below. All right, now that I have that vocal bus docked into the left, I'm gonna click and choose all these vocals and send them to that bus. I'm gonna go to the first vocal track here, hold the control key, click and drag to highlight all those vocals. 
go underneath the arrow on that vocal bus and hit route to this track only. Yeah, so now you can get to mixing and get super creative. So that's gonna do it for this one. Make sure to hit that link down in the description below to get 7% off DistroKid right now. And make sure to share this with a friend if you get me.